Okay, today we're going to be learning about how to integrate um, functions of this form. So, because integration is opposite of differentiation, when we see a function of the form a, 1 over ax plus b, we start to think logarithms. So previously we found out when we differentiate the log of x, we get 1 over x for x greater than 0. Now that, that's going to prove important in a wee bit, so remember that. Um, then the integral of d by dx log ax plus b is going to be equal to a ax plus b, where, where ax plus b is greater than 0. Um, if you remember what the logarithmic function looks like, it is like this. So the log of x is not defined for negative values of x. Um, so that's something to really bear in mind when we're moving into in, to doing um, finding the definite integral. That's going to play an important role, that little fact there. So when, because integration is opposite of differentiation, when you see a function of the form 1 over x dx, that's going to be the log of x plus c for x greater than 0 and the log of 1 over ax plus b dx is going to be 1 over a which is the the um, derivative of this v function here log ax plus b plus our constant of integration and that's for values of ax plus b greater than zero. So let's use this to do a few um, <coughs> examples. So first we're going to integrate 2 over x dx. That's the same as we take the 2 out and then just 1 over x dx. That gives us 2 log x plus c. And st always stipulate the x greater than zero part when you're when you're answering these. Um, for 4 over 2x plus 1 dx 4 to go of 1 over 2x plus 1 dx is going to be 4 times with the 2 out here to be half the log of 2x plus 1 plus c now this is going to be valid for valid for 2x plus 1 greater than 0. Now if we solve this inequality, we will get 2x greater than minus 1. So x must be greater than minus a half. Um, by, 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 by making this bit clear, just like we made it clear here, you're just showing that you have that deeper understanding of how logarithmic functions actually work. So the answer will be tidying this up 2 log 2x plus 1 plus c for values of x greater than minus a half. Um, <coughs> let's do another one. The log of 6 over oh, 2 minus 3x dx. So we'll take the 6 out. So that's going to be 6 times, this times, this time it's going to be minus a third log of 2 minus 3x plus c. And this time we've got. 2 minus 3x greater 
then zero and rearranging that we're going to get x is going to be less than two thirds and this will be minus 2 log 2 minus 3x plus c for x minus 2 thirds. Now, <coughs> let us consider, we're going to think about definite integrals now. So let's consider the integrals between 2 and 3, 1 over x dx and the integrals of minus 3, minus 2, 1 over x dx. Now we know that when we integrate these we're going to get logarithmic functions. But we also know that x in log of x is not defined for values of x less than 0. So this is only defined for x greater than 0 because of our logarithmic function. But this, if, you, if for y equals 1 over x, if we sketch this function, this function is defined for negative values of x. So if you were to get your graphing software and sketch this, this is what you get. So if you look at between 2 and 3, the, val the value of um, the integral between 2 and 3 is going to be the area under this curve, because that's what integration gives us. It gives us the area under the curve. And there is a, for between minus 2 and minus 3, this is clearly defined. It would give us the area under the x-axis, the area bounded between the x-axis and this curve here. Um, now, we know that this curve is symmetrical. There's a symmetry here. So because of the symmetry, the integral of two th two, between 2 and 3 of 1 over x dx must equal, because this is going to be a positive and this is going to be negative, um, must equal minus the, in, the, the um, area between minus 2 and minus 3. Oh, wrong way down, minus 3, minus 2, 1 over x dx. They're going to be they're going to be um, equal. Now, if we evaluate our integral between 2 and 3, 1 over x dx, we're going to get the log of x between 2 and 3. So we get the log of 3 minus the log of 2, which Rearranging gives us the log of 3 over 2. That implies that the integral between minus 3 and minus 2, 1 over x dx, is going to be equal to minus the log of 3 over 2, which is the same as the log of 2 over 3. If we try to, let me just get some more space here. If we try to actually integrate this, we get the log of x minus 3 over minus 2. We get the log minus 2 minus the log of minus 3 which would be the log of 2 over 3. 
Now this is there's a problem here. What we've just done here um doesn't actually exist because as we've stated if we look here, the log of minus two doesn't exist, the log of minus three doesn't exist because log is only defined for x greater than zero. So when we have hence for x less than zero, we say one over x dx equals the log of the modulus of x plus c. So the in conclusion to this, we would define the integral of 1 over x dx equal to the log of the modulus of x plus c and the integral of 1 over a x plus b dx is equal to 1 over a oops, log and the modulus of ax plus b plus c. Now this doesn't, re we don't really add the modulus unless we're dealing with the definite integral. Um, <coughs> because if we're not dealing with the, if we're not actually stipulating that we're using numbers that are less than, x for less than zero, then we are assuming that x is greater than zero, or we stip or we're stating it like we did in our examples before. But this is what we use for when we're using the definite integral, and we're going to have values of x less than zero. Let's look at solving a problem using the um, definite integral. So we're going to find between two and three, six over. 2 minus 3x dx. So we'll find this is going to be, so the integral is going to be 6 over 3, and that's going to be minus <coughs> the log of the modulus of 2 minus 3x between 2 and 3. So you can see here we're using the modulus. So it's going to be minus 2, the log of, so this is, um, so 2 minus 9 is going to be minus 7. So we take the modulus of, of, of minus 7, which is going to be 7, minus, and we have our minus 2 here, and then the log of, so it's going to be 2 minus 6, which gives us minus 4, and again we use the modulus, which is 4, and then uh, if we tidy that up, we get minus 2 log of 7 plus 2, oops, log of 4, so that gives us um, 2 log 4 over 7. So I hope that helps.